Hey, welcome back everybody. Second session of the day. It's still AM on the West Coast. Have about 80 minutes left to go in the uh, trading session today. Um, Tesla's the number one stock in the NASDAQ 100, now up 9%. Um, just continues to steamroll higher. Um, we're going to add a little bit more. I definitely want to add a little PayPal. Um, sorting through the NASDAQ 100 on my other screen here. I'm finding a way to get this screen up. Um, but we'll figure it out. Uh, PayPal is the fifth worst stock in the NASDAQ 100. It's too good of a company to be selling off like that. So we have a little position in it. Um, let's get that up to about 2000 bucks. All right, we can get in here at 185. We'll buy it up to 185 and a quarter. And let's just buy, you know, we can call it, we'll go small. We can go in small, let's just keep it small. Um, all right, so now PayPal and DocuSign, I'd like to have those be roughly the same size uh, with Taylor Morrison. Um, I would really like to pile more into Taylor Morrison, but with the wildfires, you know, possibly delaying some deliveries in housing, um, I just kind of want to tread lightly with that right now. I still like my, you know, top positions here. Um, Apple's event day seems kind of boring. You can tell on the daily that there were some expectations and right around one o'clock Eastern. I mean, the chart speaks for itself. So it sold off a little bit. Um, I don't think there was anything terrible in the event. It was just kind of a sell the news kind of thing. Um, updates to the watch, further expansion into the services. And we'll probably sell off to 115. We can pick some up, maybe a little bit lower. It'd be nice if this sold off. When Apple sells off, every time it sells off, both Apple, the company, and Warren Buffett, they're stepping in and they're adding and they're buying the dip. So uh, it's part of the reason why their chart looks like this. Um, and whenever we get a chance to buy it down on the 50-day, it's usually been a pretty good bet. So... Um, I mean, if you go broke by an apple, you go broke by an apple. It's kind of how I feel about it. Um, we'll see kind of where it goes from here. We have a position on. It'll be a top five position or close to it. Um, what is it going to take for this stock to double again in value? It's going to take a lot. So I think it'll perform, but it will market perform. It's not going to outperform. Um, I think a company like Tesla has a better chance to double again in value, as absurd as that may sound. <laughs> this chart. Yeah, just really solid bounce off of the 50-day. We're going to all-time highs in this. You know... There's something called the KISS rule, which I think applies to a lot of investing when things are crazy. And just, you buy what you believe in. All right, so we're getting after it today. About 29,000 in positions, 13 in cash. We'll probably stay around that. Um, but we're gonna stay aggressive. I wanna keep buying the market and I like, um, we're getting some solid bounces in tech and any day where the top four are, you know, Art K, W, SMH, Sox, that's our wheelhouse. So that's probably our highest correlation is to those. Um, 
hope you guys can hear my notification hell that I live in. Um, back to concentration. Um, yeah, if Tech is going to be leading like this, this these top four are what we're most, most correlated to. So now that our positions are more reflective of our stance, we're going to see the performance of the portfolio match up with what's happening in the market a little bit better. Um, Trex is actually having a pretty, um, they had a split today, so don't let this crazy chart fool you. <laughs> we'll check in on that once this chart adjusts. Uh, this platform's not great for looking at that part. Uh, but Trex had a split today. Um, that's a decking outdoor housing material company. And they crush it. 47 times earnings. I uh, That's one that I like. And after the split, once the dust settles a little bit, um, have an eye on that. Especially with timber prices being crazy and, you know, with these terrible fires. You know, the synthetic type of materials are going to continue to be a really good investment. Gimme doesn't show that. Aim small, miss small. So we're making some progress here. Bump this up a tiny bit as well. All right. So we're looking pretty good here. I'm gonna get this posted for you guys and then keep an eye on everything. I might hop back in one more time before close. Um, but we'll see. Pretty happy with how things are shaping up. Obviously when you're in almost all tech stocks and tech is up, you're gonna feel pretty good about your portfolio. Um, but yeah, looking good. Special shout out to my dad, 67th birthday. Appreciate all your support. Love you. Hope you're having a good day. Um, all right, everybody. I'll talk soon.